I know that some people may not like this video considering that I only do funny mo videos and live streaming on Twitch, but it's kind of good to do something different. And when I mean something different, I mean doing the best thing that I'm worst at. Talking into a microphone without a script. I'm doing it now. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. But I happen to watch the live streams of E3. Uh, pretty exciting. So what better way to make a nutshell video? I am have first time doing this. Hopefully I'm not very good. Um, hopefully I'm not very bad at it. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about it. Some games and some cringiness because the cringiness is still there. In all of Avalanche Studios games. And as we're about to show you, they delivered big time. <laughs> Well, thank you, Tim. <laughs> yeah. So day one of E3, and unfortunately, it was EA. It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? The EA conference was probably the worst out of them all. I started very confused with the Anthem 3D thing that followed up with Battlefield stuff, but it's with a tank going through buildings. Boring, right? Uh, it showed off how good the buildings can collapse now. Uh, they had the oblivious sports game like FIFA and Madden, which I don't think anyone likes, and it's, it's a dirty game. It's dirty money. No one freaking likes that game, and it's like Call of Duty gets repeated every time. Ah! The Anthem gameplay looked cool. It's when they're shooting and flying. I want the game. Look, you feel like Iron Man in that shit. You just fly around and stuff. Looks cool. Uh, they didn't show a lot of it. It was it was disappointing. It was annoying that they didn't show barely any of it. They barely showed any of Battlefield 5 either. Just a tank going through still. So disappointed again. It was probably the worst one ever. They also did this weird thing to this dev who was in the crowd. They kind of like walked up to him and like sat next to him. He interviewed him while he was in the crowd sitting down. It was really weird. Like that's why you have a stage for. It was strange. They also showed a 20-minute game of a mobile game that they will be releasing. And it was like two people playing it like it was an eSports. Like, it's not Overwatch. There's no dank memes in it. Now it was Microsoft's turn. And compared to EA shit, they killed it. Straight off the countdown, they showed a teaser of Halo 6 slash Halo Infinite, which takes place on another Halo ring, which I'm guessing it's the same Halo ring that Cortana found at the end of Halo 5. That's just my theory. They showed 50 other games, which I struggled to show all of them. So I had to bun rush through them all and just say its name and move on to the next one because there's a lot of games to take a look. So have a quick peek at this Halo trailer because it looks freaking good. <laughs> Okay, well, there's a lot of games coming up, so prepare your ass. The first game was obviously Halo 6, and then they showed... Oi, I think that's what it's called. It's an indie game or something like that. Then they had Sekiro, which is made by Dark Souls and Bloodborne, so you're gonna die a lot. Uh, your best friend, the god, Todd Howard, dropped by, talk about Vault 76. Devon, West Virginia. Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. 
trailer, what a great trailer. We had Captain Spirit, looks good. We had Crackdown 3 voiced by Terry Crews, and it's the first time I've heard him in a while when he's not saying frickin' Terry loves yogurt. At your face! If you wanna play on my level, follow my lead! Somebody give me my jam! They showed off stuff like Metro Exodus, Bloody Kingdom Hearts, two DLCs for Sea of Thieves, cursed, called Curse Sales and Forsaken Shores. Looks pretty good. They had the campaign for Battlefield 5 trailer, campaign, all that, yeah. They had Forza Horizon, which is, I'm not really interested, but they had like winter and spring stuff. They had we Happy Few, which had a really funny show. There was a lot of swearing and cursing in it. Funny, listen to this. I think they're starving to death, and they're painting the streets in rainbows. There was then Play Unknown Battlegrounds with a new update and Snow Map Tease. There was Division 2, and the next clip I'm about to show you, which a whole montage of new indie games that they're about to uh, release soon with the Xbox Game Pass, which is a waste of fucking sh time and money and shit, but it's there if you like it. So here are the indie games that they showed. And then finally it showed off a whole bunch of freaking games such as Tomb Raider, Skate 4, which is kind of called Season, hopefully it's glitchy as the other one, Devil May Cry, Jump Force, good old fucking Dying Light 2, some Battletoads, good old fucking Just Cause 4. <laughs> Gears 5, which is basically Gears of War 5, and then good old Cyberpunk, which is made by the same people who made Witcher 3. Pump for that. After a few hours of that live stream, uh, Bethesda had its turn pretty quickly after, and it was by far the best conference ever. They showed the best games and the games that we, everyone's been waiting for ever, and they also had the cringiest moments ever. I will show you right soon. It also started with a rock band coming in singing the same uh, trailer music for when, when the Rage 2 uh, announcement trailer. What I expected. What we got... This is your time to pay! This is your judgment day! We made a sacrifice, but now we come to take your life! I know it's the same singer, and it's the actual guy who sings that song, but it is weird when you actually hear him sing for the first time, live, and all that, so... Anyway, uh, after that, these two guys came up, Tim and Magnus, I think his name is, um, and they were so confused at what to say. They stopped and they had dead air for a couple of, of seconds and it was bad. They just didn't know what to say. Cringy, funny, and it was the clip I showed at the very start. They showed off gameplay in trailers of Rage 2, which looks pretty interesting. I'll show you now. Why not? Global extinction event. 
80% of the Earth's population dead. Made it to the space center. Keep your wits about you, Walker. The goon squad may look whimsical, laughable even, but believe me, behind their playful appearance, they are very, very dangerous. The game looks super, super interesting to play. It looks so cool. You got superpowers, the frisbees with blades have returned. This time they got bombs on them. It looks amazing. A few other people dropped by uh, just after that, talking about the new Elder Scrolls uh, card game Legends, I think it was, and the new DLC for Elder Scrolls Online. Looks okay. I haven't played Elder Scrolls in like a year or so, so it's been a while. And then the moment I've been fucking waiting for all year. <laughs> As you can kind of tell, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm a huge Doom fan. I absolutely love the last one. And I noticed a few things while watching through this, like an Arachnotron, which is a new enemy returning. And if you pause this image, like right here, you can see a pain elemental that I noticed as well and an arch file. These things are really really annoying But I'm glad they are back They also said they'll be showing gameplay at QuakeCon and I guess if they do what they did last time when they were supposed to show Everything they turn off the stream so only people who are actually there got to see Doom. I wasn't happy. Don't do it again. Thanks so they showed off some pretty nice gameplay of some Quake. Uh, this game is actually free on us, so you can actually play it now. It's pretty fun. Um, they, they released a new hero, or, or champion in this case for it. Uh, I don't know what his kill, I think it is. And he shoots grenade launchers or rockets out of his shoulders. Pretty cool, right? So straight after that, they showed a bit of Prey, some new DLC stuff. The trailer looks cool. The music really mashed the world for it. And then basically after that, Todd came back to the stage and he talked about uh, Fallout 76, about just being online. There's a bunch of nukes everywhere that you can kill people with. It seems really, really cool. Yeah, we love dynamic game systems. So we thought, why don't we put multiple nuclear missile sites on the map? <laughs> and then let all of you do whatever you want with them. Uh, like he did last year, how he crapped on about a pre-order bonus that you get. Like, the pit boy. He crapped on about this one again, how, how fucking lit it was. A map of the world that glows in the fucking dark. Straight after that, they showed a mobile game of... That's called uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. Looks pretty interesting if you're into mobile games like that. It is free. Um, so that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I just want to point out that uh, Todd the man just uh, made a joke about busting a nut in portrait mode. Funny. The entire game can be played in portrait mode. That one was incredibly important to us, that you could play it however you wanted. You never know when you'll need a free hand. To hold your coffee, what do you... Degenerates. After showing that piece of crap off, they announced Starfield, which is a new IP that they're making, which is basically all the other games, but it's in space. They finally uh, announced Elder Scrolls 6, uh, that it will be in the making and it will be released after Starfield. In order to save some time, I just want to skip Ubisoft and head straight to Sony. Uh, they did a lot, of, a lot of games over there and it was pretty good. Ubisoft only had the one exciting game and that was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Which is basically like a Spartan thing, like you saw the 300 battle in there and character doesn't wear a hood, he's just wearing a, a helmet, so it's based in Sparta, so you can do a Spartan kick, seems pretty cool, uh, but we're going to skip to Sony because they did a lot more games and I think it's a lot more interesting, so sorry Ubisoft, I skipped you, you didn't do my favorite game, so I'm skipping you. Hey! 
The Sony Conference could have been Sony the Musical. They had a few people playing instruments within Sony Conference throughout. Uh, they did fairly good, besides that flute guy near the end, which I'll show later, he was hilarious. Um, so Naughty Dog uh, showed off the some Last of Us game gameplay, well, was actually a trailer or cinematic thing of uh, Ellie, who strangely didn't look like Ellie at the start. I actually got fooled. I didn't think it was actually Ellie. Uh, but they were dancing all over the place, and then they showed gameplay, which is horrific. <laughs> Ellie gets wrecked in this trailer. She gets shot with an arrow. She gets shot with bullets. I think she goes through a window at once and she got glass shards in her, I think. I might be making that up. I don't know. I haven't seen her since uh, went live. Um, anyway, they showed off some other things like the Black Ops um, new maps back in Black. Previous maps for Black Ops now in Black Ops 3. They showed some Days Gone. Looks pretty nifty. Some Destiny, which I don't think anyone cares about. The DLC. <laughs> As promised, and he was doing the thing for Ghost of Tsushima Samurai game. We had a game called Control. We had Resident Evil 2, Young Leo. He looks great. Look at that. We had the a game by the same guys who made Rick and Morty. Trevor saves the universe. Looks pretty goofy. We had Death Stranding, which looks really, really cool. It was really hard to watch. There was one part which I'm going to show you now, which was incredibly. <laughs> A bit of Noah 2, I think that's what it was called. And then we had finally Spider Man. Spider Man looks absolutely great. I'm pretty sure the only way you could fuck it up is you fuck up webs, webs, web swinging. <laughs> but I don't think they did. Looks pretty good so far. Excited to get my hands on it. So that's the end of E3, and that's the end of this video. If you stuck to the end, I really appreciate you guys sticking to the end and watching it all the way through. Thank you so much. I know I'm not very good at these, and I know I could have done it better. Or differently, or even read a script for God's sake, because I I didn't run a script. I'm an idiot. Um, but it's the first time me doing this. It's something different, so I thought it'd be a good idea, out of my comfort zone. So I had I, I did it. I did it. So thank you. Uh, got anything to write in the comment section? You're more than welcome to do it. Even if it's criticism, I can take it. Um, another thing that one of my videos have made it onto a Facebook page called Gamers on Board. And it's got 3 million followers on it. It's insane. Um, thank you to those guys for putting it on. They asked me first. Um, but if you're coming from Gamers on Board Facebook page after seeing my video, welcome to the channel. I don't know what else to say about myself. I could probably tell you in a different video. Or if you can hop by on a live stream that I do uh, almost every day. Um, you can ask me questions there. But welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're from there. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully I'll see you another time. Write in the comment section if you want to. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Next video. Ta-ta. And bye-bye.